allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, please. Supervisor Vett. Here. Councilman McCarthy. Here. Councilman Wareheim. Here. Councilman Creighton. Here. Councilman Malloy. Here. Sitting as a Board of Order Commissioners, the Commission is to authorize the following six transfers in the water districts as from accounts to other accounts. Councilman Malloy? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Vecchio. That concludes water district business. Anyone wish to be heard on water district matters? If not, we'll move on. Okay. Under correspondence, we have a second reading for a parade walk permit for the Smithtown Rotary, second reading for the Smithtown Children's Foundation parade run walk, and also on file <coughs> the building department report for November 2012. Anybody wish to be heard for or against the granting of those permits? Okay, under public hearings, the town board to consider proposed amendments to 322 of the code entitled Building Zone Ordinance as it relates to Commercial Center. Move the table. Second. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Councilman Malloy? Yes. Supervisor Vecchio? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Okay, next public hearing is to consider town board's entry onto certain real property located at 77 Main Street, Kings Park, New York, and property also known as 75 Fort Salonga Road, Kings Park, New York, and 81 Main Street, King Park, New York, I uh, said property also known as 75 Fort Salonga Road, Kings Park. Both properties being owned by F Frederick Powell for the purpose of removing all existing brush, grass, weeds, and rubbish in violation of Chapter 221 of the Code of the Town. Good afternoon, Mr. Supervisor, members of the Town Board, Town Clerk. My name is Martin Simon. I'm an Assistant Town Attorney for the Town of Smithtown. The purpose of today's public hearing number two is for the board to consider the town's entry upon the properties at 77 Main Street and 81 Main Street, Kings Park, properties commonly referred to as the high tower homes. Um, public safety has made a determination that the properties are in violation of uh, multiple sections of Chapter 221 of the town code. And the town board now today is to consider the town's entrance upon the property and removing all existing brush, grass, weeds, and rubbish. Um, and then assessing said costs of the removal against the property. This concludes my presentation. Anybody? Okay. Anyone have uh, wish to be heard on this public hearing? What's the time allowance for the um, owner? The owner has already had. Oh, so to comply. We, we, we started with a 72-hour notice, okay. and then we also did a direction and posted the property, and I, we Thank started you. in September. Um, the second public hearing to consider the town's entry onto real can we do property. A, uh, can we, do you want to do them all in mass? No, it's a separate public hearing. So, well, we need a oh, you need motion. a motion okay. and a second, please. I'll move to close that meeting. Second. Supervisor Vecchio? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Malloy? Yes. John, you want to do that? Yes, Mr. Supervisor, with respect to the public hearing on, on the agenda number three, the property owner has written a letter um, requesting it to be adjourned for 30 days to discuss possibilities of potential for the property. So um, I would recommend to the town board that they grant the 30 day extension of the public hearing. Um, so, having said that, if we could just adjourn this public hearing. For 30 days, so in case we can't resolve it, we have already satisfied the posting and notice requirements okay, for I'll the hearing. I'll move to adjourn the meeting. Second. Supervisor Vecchio? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Malloy? I just, yes. note, oh, sure. I just note that Mr. Um, Haynes is here, um, so if anyone has any problems or any concerns, Mr. Haynes is here, but um, we'll put it off for 30 days, correct? Okay, thank, thank you. Okay, town board to authorize a clerk to advertise for a public hearing to be held on 2 p.m. on January 8th at the town hall to consider property located at 30 Helen Avenue, owned by James Chitty and Jessica Art, for the purpose of remediating or removing the structure 
they're at, which has been designated as unsafe in accordance with the safe building standard as set forth in Chapter 112. Councilman Malloy? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Mm -hmm. Yes. Supervisor Vecchio? Uh, town board to order, authorize the clerk to advertise for a public hearing to consider town's entry on certain real property located at 7 Hadley Drive, Smithtown, owned by Richard and Maria Calero for the purpose, purpose of remediating, aiding, and or removing the structures as set forth in Chapter 112 of the top code. Councilman Malloy? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Becky? Yes. Town board authorized the clerk to advertise for a public hearing to be held on January 8th to consider the town's entry onto certain property located at 77 Main Street, Kings Park, New York, and also known as 75 Fort Salonga Road, and said properties also known as 75 Fort Salonga Road, both properties being owned by Frederick Powell for the purpose of remeeting and or Removing the structures they're at. Councilman Malloy? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Becky? Yes. Town board to authorize the clerk to advertise the following bids to be returned at 11 a.m. on the dates indicated. A bid for sale of recycled plastic and metals on January 3rd, 2013. Kings Park hiking and bike trail extension January 17, 2013. Concrete curbs and sidewalks, January 17, 2013. Councilman Malloy? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Vecchio? Yes. Town Board to order the following bids and authorize the purchase of associated goods. Uh, a bid to tractor, for a tractor to LaCourt Farm and Lawn Equipment as per bids opened on November 15, 2012. Councilman Malloy? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Vecchio? Yes. Appointments of the town board to appoint Adam Marshman to the planning board. Term of office from January 1 through December 31st, 2017. Councilman Malloy? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Vecchio? And the town board to appoint Bradley L. Harris and Joel Gish to the Smithtown Historical Advisory Board. Term of office from January 1, 2013 through December 31st, 2014. Councilman Malloy? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Vecchio? Yes. Item number four, the town board to approve the following. A, minutes approval. Number one, minutes to Tuesday, Dece November 20, 2012. B, town clerk to issue a parade run walk permit to Smithtown Rotary Club. Town Clerk to issue parade run permit, Smithtown Children's Foundation, amendment to resolution 2019-1099, change of date for meeting from September 25th to De September 26th. E, Town Attorney appropriate official to enter in a stipulation of settlement for various tax assessor area matters. F, authorize the town supervisor to sign all forms and agreements necessary for requesting accepting program funds establishment said programs otherwise implementing community development year 39. G, change order to pin 12-075 handicap ramp, Long Beach ramp, to Terry Contracting. H, extension of agreement with Long Island Family Medical Group for administration of town's hepatitis V vaccination program. I, modification to beach permit <coughs> fees. J, rental and trucks, loaders and graders for the highway department, effective to January 1st, 2013. And K, Payment to Phoenix used car parts in the amount of $269.95. That's it. Okay, Councilman Malloy? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? <clears throat> yes for all, no for I. Okay. Uh, and Supervisor? Yes. Matthew. Number five, the town board to do studying deliberation to issue a secret negative declaration <laughs> in the following matters. Special exception permit for Verizon and at Continental property, and B, town board's own motion to alienate 0 0.77 acres of an existing town park, and to exchange the alienation portion for $77,000 deposit to the town parkland fund, and, and a point, 0 0.86 acre parcel of land dated December 7, 2012. Councilman Malloy? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor? Yes. 
On the LWRP, the town board issue a written consistency determination pursuant to Chapter 151, the town code application 2012-8, Canada 3 is consistent with the LWRP. Okay. Councilman Malloy? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Becky? Yes. And number seven, donations. Um, senior Citizens Department, as per the following schedule, number 7A. Councilman Malloy? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman <coughs> Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Becky? Yes. Number eight, the town board to authorize the controller to execute the following increases, transfers, increases, transfers, Increase in transfers as per A through 8A of the printed agenda. Councilman Malloy? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Becky? Yes. The town board to authorize the supervisor to execute the following a form approved by the town attorney as per 9A through E, professional services agreement with room networks, B, agreement between the town of Smithtown Youth Bureau and Comac School District, C, Consent to assignment of agreement with Wear and Energy, D, specialized services agreement, and E, three year lease renewal. Councilman Malloy? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Victor? Yes. I have number 10, the town board to authorize the release of the following 10A through B, A, Bank of Smithtown, performance bond, B, Bridgehampton National Bank, irrevocable letter of credit. C, performance bond, and D, a performance bond. Councilman Malloy? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor? Yes. yes. Under personnel, item 11, town board to approve the following personnel matters as 11, A through F, a promotion, return for medical leave, change of status, part-time <laughs> appointment, salary change, and rescind resolution 2012-952. Councilman Malloy? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor? Yes. We don't do these. No, that's what we don't. Just a transfer for the salt bond. That's to be a transfer for salt Transfer from account HO5-1990.000 contingency in the amount of $100,000 and create a transfer to repair salt barn for the highway department. Councilman Malloy? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Vector? Yes. Town board authorized the clerk to advertise for the following bids. Two be returned on January 3rd, 2013. Bid number 12105, the disposal of bag leaves. Bid number 12-106, trucking of yard waste. Councilman Malloy? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Victor. And now the town board sitting as board of site plan review to consider the following. Yeah. A, Lowe's Home Center. And B, 75 Orsa Avenue, as per the printed agenda. Councilman Malloy? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Victor. Yes. Uh, is this uh, mm -hmm. Carlin Nedwick? Good afternoon. My name is Corlin Nedwick. I reside at 19 Heather Drive, Kings Park. The reason I'm here is on behalf of myself and the neighbors um, who border this property right here, 21 Heather Drive, Kings Park. We, the residents of Heather Drive, Willow Drive, and Jason Court, Kings Park, there hereby petition the town of Smithtown to address the deplorable living conditions at 21 Heather Drive, Kings Park. As evidenced by the attached photos, the proprietor of this residence, Mr. Charles Ritchie, has allowed his home during the past 30 years to deteriorate and become unsightly. Mr. Ritchie hoards garbage on his property, especially scrap metal, 
which he redeems for cash at scrap metal yards. He's running a junkyard from his home, selling people's garbage, such as bikes, exercise equipment, and outdoor furniture, etc., on Craigslist. Due to his collection of garbage and an open garage that spills out additional garbage, our neighborhood is frequented with rats. And his neighbors are, are, he's endangering his neighbors and the health and safety of our children, our grandchildren, and our pets. His house and backyard also present a fire threat due to the piles of garbage inside and outside of his home. The stench emanating, emanating from his property is unbearable, especially during the summer months. We have tried numerous times to reason with Mr. Ritchie, but to no avail. He does not seem to care about his own home, nor his property value, so why would he be concerned about ours? We, the people of Charter Oaks, are hardworking, civic-minded people. We pay $12,000 plus in taxes to live in a nice, environmentally safe neighborhood. But we hesitate to invite people to our homes because we're embarrassed by this situation, which becomes a frequent topic of discussion at social events as people question, how is this allowed to happen? Some of us are looking forward to retirement and for an opportunity to downsize. However, we have been told by real estate that we have a slim chance of selling our homes with such an eyesore on our street. Please help us. Mr. Ritchie has held us hostage much too long. Mrs. Nedwick, the town has taken enforcement action against Mr. Ritchie. There are now two warrants for his arrest. Mm -hmm. So we've known about that property at least for the last year, attempted enforcement action, went to court, I guess he didn't show and the judge issued a warrant. So I don't know where we proceed from there, except that maybe, uh, Mr. Town Attorney, will we have to take the same kind of action that we've read onto the record today? So at least take a look at it. Um, let me review the matter, but I would, my recommendation is that we're going to have to do the same thing we did okay. today. Okay, we, we'll have to inspect that site. Do you have a copy of this resolution, this board? Absolutely, I have Well, seen. if you read number two on the public oh, hearings. Yes. We will probably have to initiate that action on that property. Okay. So. I know that um, Mr. Um, Angus, Angus was Graham. there from Public Safety. Yes. And he has uninsured cars on his, on his, in front of his house. <clears throat> Yesterday he slapped a uh, sign on the, on the car that if he didn't remove the car in 24 hours, the car would be towed. It's this car right here. But it will still revert back to the warrants for his arrest. Right. The, the car right here, overflowing with garbage. It's yes. been like that for, for I months. know the house. I've seen it. You've seen it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, Supervisor, if, if I might. Sure. Supervisor, what we'll do is we'll start today with the process so we can get this off the next town board meeting. Okay. Yeah, we have enough time to do that. Okay. Okay, thank you. Because the warrants are outstanding, but at least we can take the action and go on the property and clean it. So if you read that uh, number two on that, we'll do that action for the next meeting, okay? Okay. okay. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Can I give you a copy of this? Thank you very much. Harold Moskowitz. Uh, I came here today just to please, speak please go to what I thought was going to be discussed, but I don't see it on the agenda, so really I just have a question, which is the uh, discussion on whether or not the transfer from the site review board and the planning board on commercial development of over 15,000 square feet. We table what this. day is that supposed to be part of public discussion? Well, that was tabled today, which means the uh, the question is still open. When will it be brought up? Well, we have, to, we have to discuss that and determine uh, certain actions that may improve, about, improve upon what was suggested here. So you'll determine it by reading the paper, watching the TV, as to when that uh, might happen. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Camille Johnson. Sure. Thank you very much, Mrs. Johnson. Um, is this Joan Ann? For Nero. For Nero. I have a few uh, questions. Joanne Fanero, 184 Alexander Avenue, Nesconset. 
I would like to have some information clarified. I read an article in Newsday last week about the proposal to eliminate the planning board. I that, that's not true. That's why I'm here. Okay. Okay, because I came earlier <laughs> and, and we realized that um, some of the things printed are not true. Yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> amazing. Um, are they um, going to, um, as it says here, strip some of the planning rights? Well, uh, as the gentleman just asked, that has been tabled because some more information has come forth and town board will review that okay. and make a decision. Um, it's not stripping the planning board. Of anything? Not, there's a process uh, where a site plan might be involved uh, on a commercial center and the planning board does make an advisory on those and um, that was, was proposed that maybe eliminate them from that process but I think the town board has reviewed that and there's a change of mind as to how we will accomplish something. Okay, so they are going to keep the plan. Yeah, as of this moment, yes. a very yes. important yes. thing. Okay, thank, thank you very you. much. That's all I wanted to know. Did, is that it? This reason, sir. Oh, I, I, I always make this on. No, you no. don't. I just have one other agenda item, a transfer from account DR 5110-010 in the amount of $3,600 and transfer that amount of money to the DR account in the amount of $3,600. Councilman Malloy? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Vecchio? Yes. Thank you all. You move the phone? I'll move to close the meeting. Second. Supervisor Vecchio? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Malloy? Yes.